Hello subscribers, I'm Black White News and I was quite disappointed to see a video that I received um, that is a flyer on a, po on a pole in a place called Addiscombe, which is near East Croydon. And what it says is total nigger death. We let them live once, this time our patience has run thin. Now, to me, number one, why would you put that there? It's quite cowardly. What's it meant to do? Is it meant to rile us up? Is it meant to um, create unrest? What is the purpose of putting that out there? If you're going to do it, why don't you do it? I mean, why are you giving a warning? It's just like when I say you see these um, films where a murderer or a potential murderer plans to kill somebody and instead of just killing them they say oh I'm going to kill you if you don't do a b c d and e and they've got the gun to them and yet they're talking if you're going to do it you're going to do it it's like with people you know who it's just like there's a reason why the person or the people who put up that flyer did it as opposed to just going on a rampage and killing everyone. Why don't they just do that if that's what they plan to do? It's absolutely ridiculous. All it's supposed to do is cause unrest. And it pees me off because already we've seen, you know, what's happened to that um, black girl in Peckham and we see what's all the misjustices that go on. And they it's like timing. It's It's almost like they're trying to create a time bomb. You know, black people are going on about their business. Yes, you have a few little young black kids who are create, being a bit unruly. But by and large, black people are getting on with their lives and doing what they need to do to survive. But that's not good enough. For these people, they want to provoke. It's like poking the bear. And you see it sometimes with the police force. It's not enough just to do your job. You have to aggravate and agitate and prod the bear and try to get a reaction. So you've got an excuse to bloody arrest them for obstructing police justice or for resisting arrest or whatever it is when you've got no reason to bloody stop them in the first place. It's a simple thing of provoking, provoking to get a reaction. And it pees me off. Because not all white people are racists. And also, you have black people and Asian people, non-whites, non who, who exercise racism within their own race, who treat their own races abominably. So, you know, it's not just you. You, you know, it's almost like you want uh, some accolade for um, putting that out there. And it's almost like you think you've got all that support. There are a lot of there are a lot of white people who are out there who, even though they don't like blacks or they, they wouldn't give their left arm for one, they're not going to go out there and kill them and, and, and try to annihilate them. There are a lot of white people who are resentful because black people or non-black, non-whites, I should say, foreigners, you've got them all over the world, they're taking their jobs. They perceive to be taking their jobs and living in the houses while they're living really hard lives. So you do have those. But even then, those people, it doesn't mean that those people are going to want to go out there and annihilate everyone. You've also got um, the people who are in interracial relationships. That's what was the figure? I think it was about 89 percent. Now, their partners, I know it can be um, white. Anyway, which, which, whichever way it goes. They're not going to be going out and annihilating their partners, are they? They love their partners. And we have degrees. We have love. We have like. We have dislike. And we have hate. The love of the interracial relationships. Those white or those white people who, who, who love their black or non-white partner. You have the likes. You have those people. I've got white friends at work. You know, they like me. I know they genuinely like me. OK, you have the dislike. Those are the people who probably dislike you because you're taking your jobs and whatever. And then you have the hate, which is the racist people who are trying to um, commit hate crime. But 
it's all proportionate and it's all in different layers. And I could I could bet your bottom dollar that the hate um those that, that hate mar that hate segment is is a minority. It's very, very small. And there's no way they're gonna get everybody else on their side to annihilate black people. So why put up a poster like that? It's really Number one, it's childish, it's cowardice, it's provocative, and it's unnecessary. You've got something to say, you've got the balls to say it, go out there and bloody say it to everyone. Why don't you just stand out there? Why don't you go to the middle of Brixton or any other um, place where there's a lot of non-whites and shout from the rooftops, we're going to kill the whole lot of you. We're going to kill all the niggers. Why don't you do that? Because you're bloody cowards and you'll probably want to do it late at night while people are unsuspecting, while people are walking home. And then you jump out at them. You and your little gang. You ain't got the balls to stand out there openly and tell people what you plan to do, have you? And that's what's irritating. If you haven't got the balls to do that, keep your mouth shut. Let people get on with their lives as peaceably as possible. All people want is a peaceful life. They don't want agitation. There's enough agitation going off. There's enough frustration and anger without adding to it. So, I've had my little van. There's a perception of overt racism and that it exists more than it does. The current perception is that racism exists in the UK is 30% according to Statista. So people think that 30% of the UK population is racist. Um, yeah, yeah. Data from the 2000 census shows that over half of mixed ethnicity children under 16 had married or cohabiting parents. Most children in mixed couple household were living with both bio biological parents, 87%. And these mixed couples, families, had a middle class dimension. The source of that is Joseph Roundtree Foundation. So not only do you have middle, um, you have mixed um what they call them, mixed ethnicities, um, families, but they're also, they're not your, your little commoners. They're not the people from, and that's another thing, you know, when you're thinking about who are the racists, they're normally the lowest of the low, the uneducated. That's what they normally are. You might have a few who might have gone to school and might have a little education, but if you were educated, you wouldn't be speaking like that. You know, and a lot of them, they misquote, they misinform, they um, they mess around with the figures. Sorry, but yeah, they mess around with the figures. They they. The, I, was, I was reading one that was saying, um, "What did it say? I wish I had done my homework." totally gone anyway what it was it was totally wrong anyway it was misinformation and they wanted people to believe oh oh well i can't remember what it was anyway i believe a large percentage of white people would prefer not to see black people around but i'm not sure that if that percentage would choose to kill them to achieve that objective I believe a large percentage um, of white people resent people who are non-white, who have jobs and houses while they are struggling. That doesn't mean that they're willing to round them up and kill them. Those in interrelationships fall in love category, like is probably attributed to relationships formed at work. This like could be those who resent non-blacks because of the social situation and hatred are the racists who choose to believe how how they believe yeah I'd already said that but yeah it's just it's just frustrating to see something like that you know and it starts circulating and then the next thing you know it goes viral and nobody stops to think why has that person put that poster on a pole 
Is it, is it an excuse to start molesting and assaulting black people? Is that the excuse? Or are they hoping that black people will come to them and they'll be ready for them? They're hoping that black people will start something so they've got an excuse. What is it? What is it that they're trying to do by putting up that poster? I don't know how many there are. That one was found in East Croydon in a place called Addiscombe. But um, it's probably on some other polls. But yeah, and what black people done to you anyway? That's a bloody joke. Sitting here minding our own business. It's like the video I did about that poor man who went to a detention centre. OK, so he came over here. He came over here legally, but then he got a job. He wasn't caught thieving. He wasn't caught uh, murdering anyone. He wasn't a terrorist. He got a job. And he was thrown to an immigration centre, Colnbrook. And we all, well, I don't know how many of you saw that panorama in two, 2017 where in Brook House, the staff were disgusting. The way they were treating the foreign nationals was disgusting. So he comes over, he gets a job, he gets caught and he's thrown into Colnbrook Immigration Centre and tormented. Now, he's tried to kill himself and he's on watch. So he doesn't commit himself. So he doesn't kill himself. So that's like torture. You want to die, but you're not being allowed to die. But you are being allowed to be tormented by the staff who are preventing you from dying. Isn't that, isn't that torment? Isn't that torture? I thought human rights, I thought there wasn't supposed to be torture. But that's the equivalent of torture. So they're not using, well, I don't know what they use. Apparently, um, there's this intrusive searching by non-professional, long professionals. What does that mean? You're opening up their arse or something. I mean, it's absolutely diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. So, yeah, we've got lots of it going on. We know racism exists. We know that you have people who have got so much hatred and venom. And they use black people or non-blacks because it's not just blacks they're talking about. They're talking about all shades of brown. But they use them as an excuse to vent, you know, to spew their venom on. Because they can't deal with the real source, whether it's their wife, whether it's their children, whether it's their job, whether it's the decisions they've made, whether it's the choices they've made, they, they use black people as a scapegoat for all of the mistakes that they've made and all of the bad choices that they've made. We become the scapegoat. And it's not fair and it's not right, but we don't live in a fair world. So I've had my rant. I just want to get along. I just want people to get along with each other. People deserve to get along with each other. If somebody commits a crime, then the police should deal with it still in a respectful way. And if somebody hurts you, you have all right to defend yourself in an equal manner. Use an equal force, comparable force, proportionate. But, you know, coming out with stuff like that, it's not necessary. And please stop. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.